I did watch The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live <gasps> on right. AMC. Look, if you weren't ready for the seventh in the series, sixth spinoff television show of The <laughs> oh, Walking Dead franchise. Is it really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, uh, I mean, look, we're finally getting Rick Grimes back. We knew he wasn't dead. Don't we worry. all knew. He we was all not knew assumed it. We dead. all knew we it. We knew he wasn't dead. Although, in actual fact, that's as viewers, because his group, uh, you know, Last in Alexandria, did assume that he was dead because he disappeared and had, you know, uh, well, was blown mo- up. Yeah, most of them thought he was dead, but she went looking for him because she didn't believe he was mm. dead. Which is not what I said. Correct. Oh, I was saying what? his group. Look, you're talking oh, about... Oh, was she in a different group? Okay, look, yes. I have to admit... Oh, my, I... <laughs> why are you even weighing in? You didn't know anything. I do! Well, not really. No. I mean, here, but I'm just trying to I- explain why I talk about The Walking Dead like I sort of know, even though I kind of don't know. Because I watched a bunch of seasons up until Negan. That is true. You did watch, and that is one of those moments. It was, there were two moments, kind of slightly quick uh, succession with Glenn. When yeah, the Glenn, Glenn got trapped under the dumpster and then somehow survived, which was challenging to believe. And then... What was more that they ended that season on the cliffhanger of him under the dumpster and then came back... With like a full Morgan. With a full Morgan episode and didn't even address. That was, I almost, my mind, I almost lost my mind. And then Negan was my final straw. I I was like, I I don't want this kind of... But then... You and my husband watch it and Correct. all of the various spinoffs and whatever. So it is always kind of on. And I take that as my opportunity to do other things. So I'm in the room and like doing like yeah. stuff in the kitchen. And I can kind of hear. So I'm like 30 to 50 percent watching. So I kind of know, but I am not 100 percent watching. See, my husband's the same way he's watched most of all the spinoffs, all of it. Mm-hmm. But he secret watches it because I just can't stand it. It's so, mm. It just has gotten to the point where I was just like, I'm so grossed out by this. So It's a horror I, show. I, I mean, that's what it is. Right. Yeah. I'll come in because he's watching it. I'm like, and I always say, Ugh, what are you watching? And he's like, you know what you I'm know. watching. Mm. And then I go, my follow-up is, how much time does that have left? And it inevitably has like 40 minutes or oh, no. 30 minutes. I'm like, I can't do Would it. Would you leave him alone? I know. That's why I'm awful. Show. So my, I didn't even hear of the walk. I saw it on our record, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, but I didn't know it was a whole new series. Well, it's interesting because they have been doing a lot of spinoffs, but Correct. then they haven't been committing to do like a whole bunch because they did that anthology one. We watched yes. all of those. Mm-hmm. There were only six, right. if I'm remembering correctly. I think you are. And then... I mean, there's been at least two kind of like full series. Yeah, because there was uh, Rick and Maggie, and then we had Daryl Dixon, Book of Daryl. But or Book of Daryl felt like it was eight or so episodes, and it, it was kind of a short run. The number of episodes does not matter, Catherine. Oh, okay, it matters to me. I know it does. <laughs> uh, but yes, and this is a little bit, you know, look, Rick coming back has been long rumored. There's like, is it going to be a movie? Is it going to be three movies? Yeah. And now it's like this show, and because they did, you know, they have sunset certain parts of the franchise. So like the original Walking Dead is over. There isn't any more of that. Uh, sunset. That's a cute term. I don't think sure. I've ever heard that. Uh, Put well, to bed. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. well, Wrapped up. Welcome to join us in the 21st century. Good night, little show. You're done forever. That's We're putting definitely you not what it means, <laughs> but all right. So, uh, you know, you're not getting more of that original show. And, you know, there are other ones, spinoffs. There's maybe What's stop- the, uh, the first spinoff? What was that one? I watched a lot of that Fear one, the Walking Dead. Yeah, I watched a lot of mm. Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, uh, that was very good. Uh, I mean, yeah, the ballet swim. Sweater. I mean, you know, so, come on. I Our don't first that. Voldemort in the b- ballet sweater running down the street. That was infamous. Moving I on. I blocked so much of it out. Like, because if anybody listens to our podcast, they know I've said I am probably not surviving a zombie apocalypse. Mm. A widespread, probably from a monkey virus <laughs> outbreak. Mm. I mean, like, I'm always like, these survivors, I'd be like, that just wouldn't be me. I can't relate. So I'm always like, Pfft. Well, look, uh, you know, this is the zombie exception because I do not do horror at all. But yeah. for some reason, who cares? The zombies, I can handle it, I guess. Oh. Um, but this show and its spinoffs has been going since 2010. So wow. it has been wow. a long time. Nice. Yeah. Um, Juggernaut. 
So anyway, what they what they tried to do with this recent, uh, you know, Rick and Maggie, you know, these are kind of our biggest name characters, yeah. Daryl Dixon, and then which the second season is going to be about Carol somehow, and then this Rick and Michonne, um, which I, I think I said a wrong name in there anyway, but whatever. <laughs> um, so with this last one, I mean, getting Rick back is a little bit of the most important piece, and they did try to really make this as good as possible. Um, mm. They really put a lot into this. It's quite good. Mm. It is a little different. You know, you do get constantly different flavors, you know, with what series you're in and what's happening, and this with this, like, new militia city thing is slightly different. I mean, look, killing zombies is basically always the same, but whatever. It has a different feel in this setting. And Rick and Michonne... I mean, Andrew Lincoln and Denai Gura are fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, Denai wrote an episode. She did? Uh, they, oh, how awesome. They helped come up with the, you know, the storyline of this series. They were apparently, you know, totally involved because it is about their relationship, you know, because okay. they eventually wow, cool. found each other. So, I mean, I'm not talking about the whole series, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, but this was enjoyable. So, if you are already totally invested, then you should definitely also watch this. Great. Okay. okay. I guess people could just watch this. That would be weird, though. Say, as I was saying that, I was like, what am I? Yeah, sure. Go just... for it. Try it. <laughs> it Versus doesn't have to Trying to catch up yeah. with, like, 14 years of material to if have it make like sense. To lightly enter the zombie verse yeah. Backwards. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I yeah. I don't. I don't know about that. I mean, you could try. I'd be. I'd be <laughs> happy to hear about someone trying. What do we call it? Like merge watch. Just merge watch oh, into the zombie apocalypse. I'm gonna start watching Grey's Anatomy right now. This current episode and season. No, <laughs> I am. You do not. I don't even know if I discussed it. Like you know, they brought in a whole new group of residents. Oh yeah, whole new crop. Like Meredith is barely even on it. And I don't know if I'm just too old now that I just don't care about these 22-year-olds making out in the break room and things like that. They're just, uh, no, no. And there's not enough of the old original OGs on there to basically tie it together. Yet, I'm still watching. Which is interesting because, like, I guess there's some reason why they don't just start a new show. I mean, I know they don't want to abandon the franchise. No, Shonda is on her ride. You know, her logo is a whole roller coaster ride. Like, no, girl, she's going to ride this out till the roller coaster ride breaks down. It's pretty close, but, you know, they're (laughs) figuring it out, hanging on. So we're not going off on a Grey's Anatomy. No, we don't need to go off on a Grey's Anatomy thing. (laughs) 